Jeannie is going to talk about the scoring software. Um, typically, in the past, we've had had the had the judges enter scores on a on a tablet, and then we upload them. Um, that'll be a, a little bit different this year. So, Jeannie, do you want to? You ready? Yeah. If you have judged with us before, this screen looks familiar. This is um, the screen that you have seen on the tablets. And you are seeing that, right, Barb? Yes. <laughs> Thanks. I forgot to do that last time. Um, so, but you will actually be online. So you will have um, this up, hopefully on a separate screen on your computer. You'll be talking to the kids, looking at their, watching their presentations. And then after that, you'll be able to do the score. So you'll be coming in here. This right now is on a demo site. And um, Barb will be sharing this demo site link in the email she sends later. And this does have a password on it. But you will be able to go in if you want to and kind of mess around and, and see how it works. And you can um, actually judge some teams if you want. Um, so you'll go to that subjective web application. Um, I'm working on John trying to get him to change this name to something that says judge or whatever, but it's little, little baby steps. And so you'll click on that um, subjective web application. You'll be here. Generally, you're going to clear the data. Um, you won't have any scores to enter yet. And again, this looks familiar. November practice rounds. This is a list of teams that we have out there. Um, This video again will be shared and then I'm working on a, a video of this as well. John and I are still tweaking a few more things. So that's why we haven't made the video for this, but this will be done before February <laughs> now. Um, but you, again, you can use the demo site. So you would just click on the tournament. Your tournament name would be here. You click on that and then you will choose which um, you are judging. So we'll, we'll go in and do the innovation project. Same thing that you've seen here before, enter your name submit. The thing that will be really different this year is your teams will not necessarily be in time order. Um, we are not, we are scheduling the teams to a time, but right now John Soffer won't let me, um, and especially because the two core value judges are in there. We're working on it, but I don't know that these will be in time order. They will be, if you're in lakes, you will only see the eight lakes teams. If you're in woods, you would only see the um, woods team. But right now, we're kind of seeing all the teams that are, are in there. But you would just see the eight um, teams that you would be seeing, either lakes, woods, um, whichever. So then you just click on this. And again, this looks just like the rubric. And like Barb said, instead of us doing one through four, we have this broken down basically one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So if they're in that beginning, what we really fought with first on this is we, we felt that um, that one four just didn't let you delineate enough because um, a team can be beginning, but they're either a beginning, beginning, kind of a middle beginning or a, a pretty good beginning almost developing. So we wanted to be able to still give those kids some idea, give us kind of an idea of where they fall. So you'll be clicking on here. So if they're developing, you actually have three levels of developing. If they're accomplished, you have the three levels. If they're exceeds, um, you have the, the three levels of exceeds. So that's a 10 or 11 or 12. What we have this year that we're pretty excited about is now, Barb showed you the rubrics earlier and they have that empty comment field at the end. So if a team exceeds, you can click on comment here and you can type um, this team exceeded and I'm not going to sit and um, exceeded by doing this blah blah blah. So something that you felt that they did and then click save and that will actually print out on the rubric. Uh, so if you want to really we'll have a lot of ways that we can share information. One of the things that high tech kids feels is if a team didn't exceed at anything, it's going to feel kind of yucky to have this entire exceeds column empty. So if you've got a team, especially one that was kind of in that accomplished, almost exceeds, go ahead and put a comment here that said, um, 
um, you know, clarifying your vision of, you know, um, something will, would have taken you from that accomplished to exceeds. Kind of give them that, that hint of what were you looking for. So you don't have to put comments in here only if they exceed. You can put comments in here um, if kids did other things well too, or what were you looking to bump them into that exceeds or what were you looking to take them from developing in there? So you actually have a spot on each row and I'm just going to go through here and give them um, a score. And then at the bottom here, after we go through, there's 10 categories, 10 different things, so communicate. And then there's a spot for us to say, great job. This is where we can tell the kids what they did well. Um, you had great enthusiasm. Oh my goodness, I hope you can type better than me. Um, and right now the, the carriage return doesn't work. John's working on that for me. But you do have a lot of space to type a lot of things. And then you'll click save and then think about so you can say, think about, and this is what are you looking for? Again, to take them from one level to the next. If you had a truly beginning team, what can they do to get themselves developing? If you've got that accomplished team, um, what can they do to get to that exceeds what used to be exemplary? If you've got a team that truly does exceed, if they're really knocking out of the park, what's that one thing that's gonna take them to the next level? What's the one little tweak you want there. So we really want something um, in each category. And then you can, you can type a lot of things. What we're kind of excited about this is if you want, you can create your own cheat sheet. Uh, we might get this done <laughs> beforehand, but you can have your own cheat sheet over on the side where you could do copy paste. I know when I do program judging, a lot of my comments are, you know, put comments in your, um, Put comments in your code. It'll help make it easier for you to follow along. It'll show your progress. I have those things that I say over and over and over to teams. So if I had kind of that cheat sheet where I could copy paste, I can put that in there. The other thing you have up here that you've always had, but you may not have noticed is you have an edit note up here at the top. And this is something that only you will see. This will not print on the kids rubric. So this could be that reminder. So it was blue shirts, um, lots of energy, something that maybe will help you re remind you about the team. Or if there's something that you wanna to remember to talk about with the other judges, um, um, great story of overcoming obstacles. Something that's gonna help you remember about this team. And that's gonna be attached to this record but it's not going to print every, anywhere. That is just for you. And so when you've got everything in there, you just click save and then it'll bring you back. Oops, save changes. It'll bring you back to your screen. This one, um, just because I have so many teams here right now, again, you'll only see your eight teams that'll be in your judging division, but that bumps them to the bottom. I can see their score. Now, if I need to, I can always go back in and edit that score and maybe change um, something higher or lower um, as I make, if I make any um, goofs in there or I wanna make those changes so those can be updated. And then I would just come in and judge my next team for that. And then when I'm done, I'll just click that upload, synchronize, and that's going to submit the score to our server that will be um, a remote server. And then it should say upload one message, one score. What we might want to be doing is that after each team, we may ask that you synchronize just so that we um, know that things are being updated on our, on our, score, on our score sheets. But again, this, this should feel real familiar to you. This is something we're actually pretty excited about because we will not be printing any rubrics. We will, this will actually be downloaded and sent to the team in a PDF. So we're saving some trees here. We, we um, think that this is something that will actually be something we'll carry forward um, into when we meet in real, in real life. 
that we'll go back, um, that we won't go back to paper. We'll continue to use this. This is kind of something that's been in our dreams and COVID kind of <laughs> forced our hand and um, forced John to have to get this going a little bit sooner than later. Um, so that's basically it. And then when you're done, you will um, go back virtually into the judges room and you'll be able to pull up your scores. You'll be able to look at those teams. Again, you'll just have the eight on here that you're seeing. You'll be able to see um, the, the points that you gave them and, they'll, and then you can do your reports on them as well. Um, if you have a no-show, we do want you, we're hoping you won't, but if you have a no-show, we do want you to do the no-show button um, click on that, that mathematically that takes them out of the equations. Some things to note on this, last year there was an ND not displayed, which was a zero. That is gone. So there is no ND on the rubric. So all teams will start basically with 10 points. There's 10 categories. And so each of them gets one. Um, Seth, do you have a question? You're just waving at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, the, the other part of the household just arrived for dinner. Oh. <laughs> I thought you just were happy to see me. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Jeannie, I have a question. Yeah. Um, the edit note, if you go back. Uh-huh. How do you go back? Does, do those populate in one spot? or do they populate under each team? They're under each team. So then I can look at my score summary. So here you can see, here's my summary. So the JP2 fireworks, oh. they had a lot of energy, great. So what I'm looking at here is just my score summary. So they will populate in one location for everyone so you can see them all. Yeah, it's also in that individual record. So I can go back and look at that record. Uh, a lot of teams don't know that this, uh, a lot of our judges didn't know that the score summary was here. So this is kind of a nice place for it to be. Mm -hmm. And again, if I'm looking at this and going, ooh, 10, I must have goofed something up. I can actually go to that record from here as well. Cool. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. And again, that is under the gear. I'm looking at my other screen here under this gear. And then I can look at, I can continue to enter those scores or and once I've got those, I want to synchronize. If I go in and make a change, like I change that JP2 team, um, I increase their score a little bit. If I make a change, it's going to upload that score again for me. So I know that's kind of going through it fast. Um, and again, we'll give you the link to the demo site so you can go in and use it. And this is one of the silver linings, I, I think. To, to the being remote is I think this is going to be a positive thing for us in the future. And I think it's going to be easier for our judges. And I think our judges will be able to give a lot more comments actually, because there's a lot of space um, on the rubric form for comments as well. And I think that's all I have, Barb, unless there's any specific questions. Okay. Um, teams do not see that note. So, so Michaela had a question. They don't see that note where I, where I put blue shirts, lots of energy. That is just for you, but they will see everything else that I typed, um, all the comments that I put in there. And, and again, um, they actually might be able to read them this year. So, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we translate those numbers into one, two, three, four. So they'll see that as well, right, Jeannie? What what the judges what the teams will see is they will just see a, a check mark. Their that box on the rubric will be checked if they were in beginning, developing, accomplished, or exceeds. They won't see where they were range wise. Right. They will see that you checked them into one of those categories. Yep. But we felt that that one to twelve just gives us a better way of figuring out. You know, is a team a three? You know which in first worlds is, is accomplished or do we feel like they were 
beginning accomplished, middle accomplished, or accomplished, accomplished, almost exceeds. <laughs>